In this tutorial, we're going to set up a VPS for algorithmic trading. So what we're going to do today is we're going to order a VPS at Forex VPS, and then we're going to log into that VPS using Windows REP. Then we're going to install TWS platform and set up the API configurations. And after that, I'm going to show you how you can install Python and the TWS API. And then as a last step, we're going to run a training bot that will use TWS API to trade on the TWS platform. So what is a VPS? A VPS stands for Virtual Private Server, and it is basically a machine that is running in the cloud. So you can run your strategies 24 seven without having to use your own PC. One of the advantages of having a VPS is that you can co-locate your server with your broker server. And as a result, you will have reduced latency in your trading. There are many VPS providers out there. So feel free to choose any provider that you like. But if you want to support us, we also provide an affiliate link where you can configure your Forex VPS through this link. After you order your VPS at your VPS provider, you will usually receive an email with the login credentials. So here you would add the IP address, then the username, and then it will prompt the password. And after that, you can try to connect with remote desktop connection and a new window with the access server should appear. After a successful RDP connection, we now have access to our server. And now we can install all the necessary things such as Python and TWS. So now we are still on our virtual private server. And what I've done is I've opened the article guide from Microsoft Edge inside the VPS. So we can now download TWS and Python through the article link. So if we scroll down, we will find step number three, where we're supposed to install TWS. So by clicking on this link, we will then be re redirected to the interactive brokers page and we'll want to install the offline TWS. And the reason we want to install offline TWS because we want to prevent unexpected updates on the platform so our training strategies keep running without an interruption. So let's now click on this link. And now let's proceed with installing offline TWS as specified in the article. After you install and log in to your TWS platform, you then want to enable the API settings for TWS. So let's go to file, then you go to global configuration. And then if you look at the API section, you want to click on settings. And here you want to enable ActiveX and socket clients and disable read only API. By the way, if you want to connect, you can find the exact socket port. So for demo accounts is 7497. And also you want to disable the precautions so they don't interfere with your trading. So then you press apply. And now let's proceed with the installation of Python and TWS API. Now in section four, we want to install Python. So click on this link and find the downloads. And here you will want to look for Python 3.12. Uh, by the way, we want to look for the Windows distributions. And uh, so if we go down here, we'll find 3.12. And then we install the 64-bit. So after running this, we then want to open the Python installer and please make sure that you also want to use admin privileges and add Python executable to path. And then after install now, then Python should be installed on your virtual private server. One way to check that the installation was successful is that you can here look up the command prompt. So you can type CMD and that will uh, find the command prompt. And simply, if you type Python, then the Python terminal should open. And you can see that Python 3.12 is now successfully running on our VPS. Now, the next step is to install the TWS API. And unlike other Python packages, TWS API has to be installed using Internet Brokers GitHub. So now we go to their GitHub page. And now we want to download the stable version for Windows. So let's click on that and then install the TWS API. Once the TWS API has been installed, you will find a folder in your C drive. So please go to C drive, click on TWS API, and then in source, you will find your Python client. And here you will find all the setup configurations to install uh, the TWS API. So now again, let's copy the path using control C, and then again, open our command prompt to install the API. 
So now what you need to do is we need to change the directory to our Python client. So we're going to change directory using CD and then we press Ctrl V to change the directory to this folder here. So if we now check the files, you see that we now have access to the files the same way we do here. And then we want to install uh, the TLS API using setup.py. So um, let's write Python setup.py install. And this command should then install the TLS API. And now we see that the API has been installed. One way to check whether the API has been installed is we can open our Python terminal. So we write Python in our command prompt. And then now you see that Python terminal is now running. And if you write import IB API, we should see no error. So now we see that this has been imported without error. And now we know that IB API has been successfully installed. Now that Python and TWS is set up on our virtual private server, we can now download our statistical arbitrage training bot. So if you are subscribed to our membership on our website, you can follow this link. And in this link, you will find the files necessary to start the training bot. So once you download the statistical arbitrage bot and put the folder on the server, these are the files that you will see. So here, what you'll find is configuration.py. And if we open it, here you will find the configurations for a strategy. And I will explain each individual configuration in detail later. Then here is the lib folder. And in the lib folder, you will find the TWS client folder, which contains the IB client class. And this is basically our backend that handles the connection to TWS and handles all the data exchange. So you can have a look at it later. So this is how we implemented the IB API. And again, if we go back to the training bot template, here you will find how the training logic is implemented. So here, for example, you see that you have a safety checker class that checks you know, for all the safety checks when the training bot is running. And then down here, you see exactly how all the configurations are imported. And based on the configurations, it will then trade the statistical arbitrage what you will also find is that there is a requirements.txt file. So what you see here is that our training bot besides TWS API is also using the pandas library. So to make sure that pandas is installed, we will again open our command prompt and then we will change the directory to our statistical arbitrage bot folder. So we change the directory to the directory that we want. And here, if you uh, right there, you will see that you now have access to requirements.txt. So, in, so to install pandas, all we need to do is to write pip install dash r requirements.txt. So this is our text file that contains our requirements, and then you press enter. So now, in my case, pandas has already been installed. So if everything is satisfied. Let's now turn on our training bot. So now to start a training bot, all you can do is just double click on training bot template.py. And so by doing that, we are now running our Python script and it's now connecting and it's starting to trade. Uh, also what I recommend doing initially, because sometimes the application can crash and then not leave any uh, prompt. What you can do is you can start uh, the Python application for the command prompt. So again, you would change the directory to our folder and write Python trading bot template.py. So now our training bot is running from the command prompt and it is doing the exactly same thing as if I double right click on that. So what you can see here is now it's extracting data from TWS and then evaluating some training logic. What you see here is the train is disabled and now let's go into the configurations. So let's open config.py. So in the configuration file, you can find the settings. And so here you can see that 
the value trade disabled is set to true so this is just for your protection so if you actually want to trade you would have to sell set this value to false to disable the trade disabled so now uh to apply a statistical arbitrage strategy i recommend reading some of my articles on my website how to exactly find the symbols and the ratios but in this example i'm using goldman sachs versus morgan stanley statistical arbitrage so here you would have to specify those two symbols so here you would for each symbol you specify the symbol name which in which case we have gs then the contract id and then the exchange where it's traded and how to find the data is for example if you right click on gs here and click on description you will find the underlying gs with the contract id with the contract id here and then with the exchange here being smart so uh and the same applies for morgan stanley so here you would uh yeah uh, enter the symbol details and then here in the time frame you would specify the strategy logic so here we're trading the hourly time frame and here we specify the volume we are trading on the strategy so when volume is set to 10 it means we're trading 10 shares of goldman sachs and when the ratio is set to one then morgan stanley in this case would be with a ratio of one to one this does not align with the strategy that i have in my analysis I believe that with Morgan Stanley, I set the ratio to 0 0.2 to be exactly correct. But what does it mean? It means that if the ratio is 0 0.2, so for every trade uh, we place, Goldman Sachs would open 10 stocks and Morgan Stanley would open 2 stocks because 10 times 0 0.2 is 2. And then this maximum exposure is based on the volume here. So once we reach 20 uh, stocks exposure on Goldman Sachs, it would not open any more trades because that would be our maximum exposure limit then here we have the bollinger periods and standard deviations so for this strategy we're trading a bollinger period of 40 and a standard deviation of 1.75 down here we also have some safety parameters so uh, we want to make sure that the bot doesn't trade too much or for example it doesn't exceed minimum margin, margin requirements so if for example the free margin on our account decreases below 10,000, then it would stop trading. And then, for example, if the strategy opens more than 10 trades per day, or more like during the runtime, it would also stop trading. And then here I also measure the timeout limits. So for example, if we get an uh, internet disconnection or TWS stops sending us data, we don't want to trade with old data, right? So here, if the tick or the OHLC that we receive is older than 60 seconds, or in this case, it's one, I believe one hour plus five seconds because we're using hourly data, then it would stop trading. And then down here, we're also specifying the time where a trading bot is allowed to trade. And because this is a strategy on US stocks, it is only allowed to trade between 1545 and 2145. So down here you have the connection parameters and here we are trading or connecting to the local host which is 127.001 and we're connecting to port 7497 which is the port to our demo account then you set the client id which can be any unique number and then last you can also enter your uh, ib account which is this value here and that way you can subscribe to the account updates on your tws account so now let me uh, save the settings so also I can uh, change the account value now so I'm changing it to my own demo account so it's DUM611010 then we save the settings remember that I changed the trade disabled to false and change the ratio here again please make sure that the settings are correct because this is very sensitive and a lot can go wrong especially in algorithmic trading but nevertheless, uh, I'm going to stop the strategy and I'm going to restart the trading bot. So here we can double click on trading bot template and it will now take the new parameters into account and now it should start trading. So now you see that uh, while we, after we um, get turned on the trading bot, 
it now opened some trades because uh, right now Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley showed you know some trading signal. So now, as you can see, we are 20 shares long on Goldman Sachs and four stocks short on Morgan Stanley. So theoretically, if I disable trading bot now um, and close the positions, I can show you again, um, yeah, how the trading bot will open the positions again. So I'm going to close the positions. Maybe I should have used a market order to close them. So I'm going to close the positions with a market order. And I'm also going to close this position with a market order. Nice, and now, uh, now pay close attention. So when I turn this trading bot on, it should then open another trade. So now we're connecting, and now we see that it placed two orders immediately, which is pretty amazing. All right, so now the question is, what if you want to open multiple statistical arbitrage train bots, right? And so, if you want to open more fold, more strategies than one, then what you can simply do is you can copy this folder, create a second copy here, and then you could call it, for example, bot number two. And then you can change the configurations for a new strategy. So in this new strategy, uh, you would just, you know, change the symbols or, you know, the time frame or whatever. And you have to make sure that you have to change the client ID to a unique number. And that way we have two separate strategies running. Also, one thing that I want to mention is that in order for a bot uh, to run successfully, you need to subscribe to US stock market data because Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley are US stocks. I think one Goldman Sachs, if you look at the description, is being traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And Morgan Stanley, if you look at descriptions, is also trading in your stock exchange. So for this strategy to work, you need to go to your interactive broker's client area and subscribe to New York Stock Exchange data feed. And again, if you are subscribed to a membership and you need some assistance with setting up your trading bot, you can simply send us an email to research at atjtraders.com and we'll happily help you with setting up your VPS. So one last note before we wrap this up. I highly advise you to read our disclaimer. So the strategies and the code that we're providing is just a general framework to trade the statistical arbitrage. And I highly advise everyone to actually study the code and see what it is doing. So that's basically it. And if you have any questions, let us know and I'll see you in the next video.